Um, I'm Dr. Rita McGuire, and I am excited because each and every Wednesday, what we do here on our webinar is that we pick a different topic, a topic that is related to our overall health and wellness. And then we talk about how CBD can assist with that topic. So tonight I'm excited to um, introduce to all of you because she's new, a new business partner, a new Wakana Panur with Wakana, Dr. Daniel. And she is a dentist. I'll talk and bring up and have a formal introduction, but tonight we're going to be talking about CBD and dentistry. Um, just a little bit about our company, uh, Wakana. We are the crown jewel of CBD. We launched our business April 20th of 2019. So we're a little bit more than a year and a half old. Um, these are the other three co-founders. On the far left is myself. I've cut my hair off, but that's me. And I think I was about 35 pounds heavier there as well. Um, but I'm the Chief Medical Officer here at Wakana, one of the co-founders. I bring to you over 30 years of experience as an obstetrician gynecologist. And then next to me is our CFO, that's Dr. Patricia Van Pelt. She's a state senator serving her third term as a senator here in Illinois. And then next is our CEO, Melissa Boston, who brings to us over 29 years experience in the direct selling industry, as well as 17, 18 years in corporate America. In fact, she was named MVP of six of the eight corporate companies that she worked for, retired at the age of 33, and definitely is a powerhouse in the vision behind Wakana. And then our chief sales officer, Phyllis Nash on the far right, she brings to us over 29 years as well of experience in not only direct sales, but the liquor industry, the restaurant industry, if you're from Chicago and know anything about Leon Barbecue, she put Leon Barbecue on the, on the map. So we are excited to really end the negative stigma about this plant because there still is a negative stigma about the plant. And really that negative stigma is really holding our communities back from really improving their health and wealth and their situation. So that's our vision. In our mission, you know, we, stir, we, are, we serve as a catalyst to really help so many of you that may be on the webinar that may be thinking, hey, you know what, I've always wanted to get in the cannabis industry, didn't know how to do it, um, but we will absolutely help you find your space, maybe your formulator, maybe you want to invest, uh, maybe you just want to be an entrepreneur in this space, but that's a little bit about who we are in our company, our vision, and our mission. Well, these are my amazing three children. I say four children um, because my nephew on the far left, whenever we talk about sickle cell anemia or dentistry, I dedicate the webinar to him. See, I lost my nephew a year ago. He was in his last year of dental school at Case Western. That's all he wanted to do in life was to be a dentist. And unfortunately, he had complications due to the sickle cell anemia and passed away very suddenly. He was like my other son. And so I always um, bring homage and dedicate this webinar to Ricky C. That's my nephew. On the far right is my oldest son, Jacob, my middle child there in the middle, Joshua, and then the baby girl, Hannah. And so I am just a proud mom of three adult children uh, who are all, well, maybe one is still on the payroll, but who are all off my payroll. I am still a practicing obstetrician gynecologist, still doing hysterectomies, liposuctions, but absolutely, and I'm an advocate for this plant. I've seen so many patients receive such amazing results by using a holistic option like CBD that we're gonna talk about tonight. In fact, I was uh, asked to um, testify for the Judiciary Committee when the adult use law here in Illinois was passed. So just an exciting time to be a part of this industry, an exciting time to be a part of this company. And now I'm gonna bring up our guest today 
and I'm going to stop sharing the screen just so you can see her beautiful, beautiful face there. And I think you are spotlighted there. And so this is Dr. Anika Daniel, and she's a licensed general dentist from Chicago. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, she's been practicing in Texas since 2009. Kanika is a graduate of Whitney Young High School, the Ooh. Dolphins, okay. um, Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville, and Marquette University School of Dentistry. She offers her patients unparalleled gentle dental care. How many are looking for that? Me. Um, and she uses the state-of-the-art technology when she does that. Dr. Daniel is a member of the American Dental Association and the regional ambassador for the Association of Black Women Dentists. She loves spending time with her husband, who I hear in the background there, and her three beautiful children. So Dr. Daniel, take it away by just first saying hi to all of us and, and why you said yes to Wakana and, and how you're excited about CBD and using CBD in your dental practice. Thank you, Rita, Dr. Rita. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm very excited to be here tonight and to share my story and talk more about why I chose Wakana and how it is very essential and helpful in the dental setting. Um, so as you all know, dental offices are not the ideal place for people to be. Um, if I had a dollar for every time I heard I hate the dentist, I'd be rich. I could quit my daytime job. But, you know, I can't blame a lot of my patients because it is a very, um, fearsome experience for a lot of people just encroaching in their personal space or possibly bringing up a, a past experience that was negative or just the unknown about the procedure, what you're going to do. And so because of that, I um, began to just research and look for alternative, um, healthier ways to calm my patients, um, just ease that fear and anxiety that they have um, when visiting my office. And that's what initially led me to Wakana. And boy, I'm glad it did because I've learned so much and there's so many other implications for CBD that I am thankful that um, the desire to just increase and improve my patient care led me to CBD because I'm excited about all of the things that it can be used for. Um, and I'm sharing it with my loved ones, my family, my friends. And so that's why I'm thankful that you invited me, Dr. Rita, so that I could share with you all this evening. Wonderful. Can you share with them what you shared with me the other day about the research opportunity and yes. and as a student? I, I think I, that's so powerful. Yes, I'll share that. And I think um, uh, one of my classmates is actually tuning in. So she'll probably hear a story she's never heard before. Um, so I shared with Dr. Rita um, another reason why I'm very, very um, excited and eager to be a Wakanapreneur and share my story and share CBD with the public is because um, when I was in dental school, there was a professor that announced that he was starting some new research. And I had done research in high school, um, undergrad, and at one point wanted to be a researcher and find the cure for AIDS, but someone had already done that. So I was still working on the next cure. And he announced that he would be doing um, research on cannabis and how it could be used in the dental setting. And I was so interested in that topic. I was like, wow, he's doing that. I had never heard anybody be so bold and daring to research cannabis because everyone knows that has a negative stigma. And I did not um, speak up and apply for that position because I was fearful of how I would look or the uh, preconceived notions or stereotypes that my peers who didn't look like me would have. I didn't want to be that the one girl that, of course, she's going to want to do research on cannabis. So I didn't. 
And I regret that to this day, I was sharing that with Dr. Rita. So I want to destigmatize and help destigmatize um, cannabis for everyone so that um, we can be present and a part of all the research and all the benefits that this plant has. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that with everyone. And we are going to start your part of the presentation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I would like to talk about the mouth body connection. Um, the first slide here is just some statistics on gum disease. And I want to stress that half of American adults suffer from gum disease. A lot of people may be shocked by that, or if your dentist has told you you've had gum disease, you thought something was wrong with you, or it was something that was rare. But in fact, it is not. Um, you'll see those green shades of green at the bottom of the uh, map of the United States. Those are all different uh, types of gum disease, but you can see that the sum total of all those different shades of green equal about half of the country. And so we've got uh, mild periodontal disease, moderate periodontal disease, and severe. And we'll find about 30% of those patients that have gum disease are in the moderate stage. And so that's 64.7 million adults over 30 years of age that um, suffer from this. And so it's very prevalent, it's very relatable, and it's something that should be in the forefront of trying to treat and find a cure for. So here I've got um, the slide. I just wanted to define periodontal disease, commonly called gum disease. It's the chronic inflammatory process that destroys the bone and gum tissues that support the teeth. And so if we have an accumulation of plaque or bacteria in our mouths, or it's a long time since you've been to the dentist, all of that kind of begins to migrate down into the gums or under the gums where you can't see it. And so even if you have great hygiene and you're brushing your teeth really well, you're just not going to remove all that bacteria. And what it does over time it just creates an inflammatory response. So I just wanted to reiterate that periodontal disease is an inflammatory disease. If it's left untreated, gingivitis can lead to gum disease. And so a lot of people have gingivitis, um, but if we don't treat it, it can lead to periodontal disease. And you can go to the next slide, Dr. Rita, that one where I just talk about chronic inflammation Chronic inflammation, whether it's in the gums or if it's anywhere else in your body, it can negatively affect all of our organs and tissues. Chronic diseases of aging are connected through common chronic inflammatory mechanisms. And so that last bullet point is very important and I wanna just emphasize that because there are a lot of common diseases that are connected to these chronic inflammatory mechanisms. And so on the next slide, there's a little visual where you can kind of see, we have the tooth at the top and under the gums, there's just a lot of bacteria. So you can see that bacteria kind of going into the bloodstreams. That is that uh, red vessel in the middle. Our gums, they have so many blood vessels and capillaries that it is so easy for the bacteria in our gums to enter the bloodstream. It does it right there in the gums. And so when it enters our bloodstream, it can go to so many different organs and cause serious problems and inflammation. So you'll see there's diabetes, which is very prevalent, especially in the African-American community. We've got cardiovascular disease and cardiovascular disease is the number one cause of um, death in our country with men and women. Uh, we have Alzheimer's disease, which is a newer uh, development in research just in 2019. And rheumatoid, rheumatic diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, and then lastly, respiratory diseases. So all of these different diseases and uh, disorders are linked to the bacteria from our gums entering the bloodstream and going to those different organs. And so here um, we have 
heart disease, and it is a little statement here on each of these different organs about how it's connected to the gums. And this is the mouth body connection. So under heart disease, you'll see that people with gum disease are two times as likely to die from a heart attack and three times as likely to die from the st a stroke. There is no coincidence there. It is the bacteria from the gums that is untreated that is entering that heart vessel and causing uh, three times, two times as much of damage to the heart for people with those conditions. Uh, next, under the respiratory problems, poor oral hygiene can increase the risk of pneumonia and different respiratory infections. Um, with diabetes, um, the gums bleeding increases premature death by 400 to 700. Diabetes is a very direct link, a very direct link with diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes, diabetes that you just can't control no matter what the doctor has put you on or what kind of diet you've tried. Um, the correlation between gum disease and that bacteria that's under the gums is huge. Um, Rheumatoid arthritis, research has found that the association between gum disease and rheumatoid arthritis is there. And when you think about it, rheumatoid arthritis is the inflammation of the joints. And so anything that's going to inflame your gums or cause them to bleed or get red, um, it's very possible that it can travel to other parts of the body and cause those joints to flare up. And so it increases um, the rheumatoid arthritis complications. And so I already mentioned to you that cardiovascular disease is a condition involved by the blocked blood vessels in the heart, chest pain, or stroke. So all of those things are heightened and increased uh, when a patient has periodontal disease. And it's important to note that cardiovascular disease is the leading killer of men and women in the United States. So when you see it like that, it, it's kind of scary if you're walking around with periodontal disease or gum disease. And I also explained how arthritis is the inflammation of the joint. So if your gums are inflamed, that bacteria travels through the bloodstream, it can also affect um, the joint inflammation. And so we see here at the last bullet that patients that get their routine periodontal treatment, they have had decrease in their arthritis parameters, meaning um, less flare ups, um, less uh, trips to the doctor, they're noticing that the inflammation isn't as prevalent when they're getting their routine cleanings and checkups. And so diabetes is a big one, I already mentioned that. The hyperglycemia inhibits the resolution of the inflammation. And so you have this insulin resistance. Patients with diabetes are three times more likely to have periodontal disease. And so controlling periodontal disease helps control blood sugar levels. Um, I've had multiple patients whom their diabetes is uncontrolled and their doctor sends them in to get periodontal treatment. And I will tell you the levels of the diabetes um, and the sugar, resting sugar number, increases drastically with the amount of infection that I see. And so that's one that I talk to my patients about a lot when I see that on their medical history. Um, Alzheimer's disease is the new one. This is one that the, the article cited on this is 2008. And I think that with this research, they were just saying that it quadruples an individual's risk of having Alzheimer's disease. There was a correlation that was noted in 2008. But in 2019, uh, the research found that uh, when they dissected the human brain of a patient that had Alzheimer's disease, they found the same bacteria in the brain that is in the gums. So that was a huge discovery, um, just 2019. And so we've been trying to share that with a lot of patients because you think about it, maybe a loved one is in a healthcare facility. They're somewhere where they're trying to get treatment for the disease and maybe they don't make it to get routine dental care. And so, um, trying to urge um, family members to make sure that those loved ones are getting routine um, dental care is what we try to do now. 
So the final question I have here is how can gum disease be treated? And I think the uh, common theme that I was able to drive home is that we treat the inflammation. And so that's what we do as dental uh, practitioners. Um, all of our efforts with the deep cleanings and the rinses and all the treatments, I do laser therapy in my office as well, is to treat the inflammation um, because if you treat the inflammation, the disease can be controlled. And so I thought this was a perfect segue for Dr. Rita to talk and share more about how CBD can treat the inflammation or help treat the inflammation. I don't want to um, give any false information, making patients think that it would be a substitute for getting the tartar and bacteria removed and getting your cleanings done, but definitely, I'm sure you'll share your testimony, that it can definitely help and help those appointments uh, be a lot more positive when you come to see us and probably ask you what you've been doing if you start using it. Thank you so much, Dr. Daniel. That was so informative. Oh my goodness. I've always heard about the link with periodontal disease and heart disease, but never saw the information about Alzheimer's. And that's a really very, very scary thing to know that the condition of your mouth can affect so much. And I, I want to thank you for that. Uh, I recently had a cosmetic procedure done that my daughter, you know, these Gen Z's, they think of more things to do with your money. So she said that I needed my teeth whitening and it was a device where it is, I guess, sound waves. And she's like, mom, it's going to be so painful. So I actually doubled up on my CBD about an hour before. And during the procedure, I asked the woman if the machine was on. She's like, ma'am, we have it on the highest level. And I'm telling you, I didn't have any pain, nor did I have that anxiety of just going, not knowing what this is going to feel like. So we're going to talk more about how CBD is used and when and where and how much you should use it. So thank you so much. This is Dr. Daniel's um, contact information. You may have some questions you may think of tomorrow. Maybe you are in the Fort Worth. Is that Fort Yes. I'm um, a Chicago native, of course, but I've been in the Fort Worth area for about 10 years now. And so please email me or you can find me on Instagram. I would love to give you any more information that you may need about um, just any dental questions and how CBD can help. Um, and it's been my pleasure. Thank you so much for inviting me and letting me share that information. Thank you so much. So, you know, we all want this, right? Those pearly, pearly whites. But I'm telling you, um, cannabis does have a role in helping us to really maintain a healthier hygiene um, and healthier uh, turnaround in our oral health. So when we talk about cannabis, many of you may be brand new guests on the line, but I wanna end the confusion now about cannabis. You know, the plant produces two species. Now one species we all may know about, and that's the marijuana species, right? That's a species that gets you high. And the reason why is that marijuana has a high level of THC. That's a part of the plant that gives you the high. Um, it has very trace amounts of CBD. And we're going to talk about what CBD is. On the other hand, there's something called the hemp species. Now, that species I had never heard of three years ago, never really heard about hemp, I guess maybe only about hemp seeds, if I put it in a smoothie, but actually industrial hemp is defined as containing 0.3% or less of THC. So the hemp species of the plant has high levels of CBD and very trace amounts of THC, and that's why hemp gives you the health benefits without the high. So when you talk about cannabis, I think now you can explain to your family and friends and loved ones that there's a part of this plant that gives you health benefits without the high because of the THC level. So what is CBD? 
So CBD is an abbreviation for cannabidiol. And again, it is the number one or most abundant compound found in the hemp plant. And what we see is that it's the CBD that's non-psychoactive, whereas the THC is the psychoactive. It gives you the paranoia, the euphoria. Um, we have products here at Wakana that are the highest quality products. But what I love about our products are they are sourced from organic hemp. We are compliant with the State Department of Agriculture. We're compliant with the Farm Bill, which allows CBD that is extracted from the hemp plant to be legally sold, cultivated, and consumed in all 50 states, as well as our products are industrial hemp registered. So let's look specifically at the part of the plant, the cannabis plant, um, and its compounds and what the benefits it has as it relates to dentistry. So this is the CBD dentistry wheel, right? And what we're going to focus on is what we just learned from Dr. Daniel. We learned that the periodontal disease is due to inflammation and also bacterial infection, right? The bacteria that is found in our mouth. So CBD, as you can see here, is an antibacterial. It also reduces inflammation. It also relieves pain and helps to relieve anxiety. So there's over 20,000 peer review articles about the benefits of CBD. But what's even more interesting are all of the articles as it relates to dentistry. Dr. Daniel and Dr. Napasha Gettings, every week we're sending articles to each other. It's fascinating how much science that you'll find as it relates to CBD. Now, when you look at the other cannabinoids, like CBG, for instance, it slows bacteria growth. And again, we see cavity and tooth decay and periodontal disease and gingivitis. All of those are a result of bacteria. And then CBGA slows bacteria growth. CBC reduces inflammation and relieves pain. Delta 9 THC helps to relieve pain. So you see that the entire plant and the major compounds or cannabinoids as we call them are very, very instrumental in improving oral health. So how does CBD work? Well, it works by a science and the science is called the endocannabinoid system. In fact, this system was discovered when I was in medical school, Dr. Daniel, in the 1990s. I'm telling my age. You're probably still at Whitney Young or maybe in grammar school. But this science is very vital in understanding because it has receptors in our body that are looking for the compounds that the cannabis plant makes. And so when our body sees CBD and it has inflammation in the gums, it has inflammation in the joints, or you're anxious about going to see Dr. Daniel, these receptors bind with the CBD and reduce those symptoms that we talked about. So it puts our body back in balance. That's an easy way to understand how when you consume CBD, how it works. So these receptors, CB1 and CB2, are found throughout our entire body. They're found in major organs like our eye, our lung, our liver, our kidney, our bowel, our skin, our stomach, our heart. We talked about brain, but more specifically, our teeth. So these CB1 and CB2 receptors are found right in the area of the dental pulp area where we are finding a lot of bacteria, a lot of inflammation. So yes, there are specific receptors that are in the mouth that will help to improve our oral health. So when we look at the vicious circle that occurs, you know, when we talk about poor oral hygiene, which then leads to bacterial growth, which leads to acid production, which helps to break down the minerals and in our teeth. It causes demineralization of the enamel, which then causes cavities, inflammation, infection, and pain. And did we not just talk about those are all of the things that CBD has been found in research to address 
inflammation, pain, bacterial growth as well. So this is a little um, nugget for you. I thought it was interesting. That's why I love having Dr. Gettings and Dr. Crawford on the line, but they actually found that the prevalence of dental phobia is more than phobia of heights, of snakes, and things like that. You know, when you think about phobia, um, that's pretty severe. So a dental phobia is much greater in this study than any other phobia. Now, this is a study that all of you, and hopefully we have some dentists on the line, that was really mind blowing. This study was done in January of 2020. And it showed that they took 60 people. They were ages 18 through 45. It's a fascinating study. And what they did is they took the plaque from their mouth and they put it in Petri dishes. And in each Petri dish, they put different cannabinoids like CBD and CBC that we talked about and CBG and CBGA. Uh, GA. And then they put the traditional products like Oral-B and Colgate. And what they found after this study is that the Petri dishes that had the cannabinoids had a more effective uh, reduction in bacterial growth than those in the well-established synthetic oral care products like Oral-B and Colgate. So definitely there is a lot of excitement about CBD in the dentistry area and arena. So before we talk about our products and how to use them as it relates to oral health, uh, our disclaimer just says that our products contain the legal limit of THC, 0.3% or less. If you have random drug screens, we do have a broad spectrum product for you. Um, also, the disclaimer says that if you're pregnant, nursing, on medication, please consult your physician before using our products. There's also a smokable hemp ban. Um, the smokable hemp ban now pertains to Louisiana, North Carolina, Kentucky, and Indiana. Uh, September 14th, the governor of Texas lifted that smokable hemp ban, but just know that these products are not for use or sale by persons over the 18, under the age of 18, and our vape cartridges and pre-rolls and flowers should not be used or sold to persons under the age of 21. Now, what's so exciting about our products at Wakana is that our products are tested. Every product has a certificate of analysis that allows you to see the potency of the product, the fact that the product is free from mold, mildew, heavy metals, and pesticides and residual solvents. The products are safe and effective. So every product has their certificate of analysis. And so I'm gonna talk about some products and I'm gonna talk about how you can use these products. Now our product line is a a, rate, um, a combination of full spectrum products. Those are the products that contain the legal limit of THC and then broad spectrum products. Those are the products that contain less than 0.0% .0 of THC. So the power products are in the black label. Those are products if you take are taking or have random drug screens at your job, you're gonna use the white label products. So this is our Hempranium MD. This is a product that really is our most potent product, 750 milligrams of CBD in a 15 ml bottle. It is a tincture, which means you place it underneath your tongue and you hold it before you swallow. But it is absolutely a product for those who may have more severe challenges with oral health. Um, I always recommend that you start low and slow. This is also a great product for those who have severe anxiety before they go to the dentist. I have severe anxiety before I go to the dentist, even though it was some cosmetic procedure. But when your daughter says, it's gonna be painful, that even heightened the anxiety. So I did 20 drops of Hempranium MB before that procedure because I was 
very, very anxious. And I wish Dr. Daniel was here to do the procedure for me. But nevertheless, start low and slow. But we're going to talk about those special situations where you would need more of Hempranium MD. Um, increasing as needed, but absolutely an amazing product. Our Hempranium 500 milligram is another tincture. It's a full spectrum product. It's a product that has a proprietary formulation. So this product is enhanced with black seed, turmeric, and peppermint. And we're gonna talk about why that's even more important to have in a product like this as it relates to your oral health. Again, starting low and slow, but there is a situation that we're gonna talk about that you will use a different amount. Uh, our Power Water Soluble is another great product that is used to infuse in your water, in your beverages, in your food. Again, in patients who have dementia or cognitive issues, not being able to hold the tongue, um, oil under their tongue, I recommend the Power Water Soluble in that case. Again, starting low, starting slow, making sure you're not taking too much. And then we have our broad spectrum product. This is a product I was speaking of that is for those who have random drug screens at their job. You may have a random drug screen, but have a very heightened level of anxiety before you go to the dentist. And this is the product. Starting with three drops twice a day is a great way to start this product. It is a tincture. It has a proprietary formula with black seed, turmeric, and peppermint. We're gonna talk about why that's so important in oral health. Even our topicals can be used when we talk about oral issues, oral challenges, oral dis-ease, TMJ, grinding your teeth, mm -hmm. all of those issues. You can take a small amount of the topical, and what I've done is I've just massaged it in the area. I've massaged it some nights if I'm grinding my teeth and that TMJ is acting up, just massaging it in that area. These topicals come in an oil form. They come in a cream form from 200 milligrams all the way up to 500 milligrams. Topicals do not pass the blood-brain barrier. So you can use these topicals during those issues of dis-ease and not worry about it showing up in your bloodstream. Now the gummies, we'll talk about, but the gummies, absolutely I use the night before that procedure. We have broad spectrum gummies. Those are the gummies that you use if you have random drug screens. Each one of those gummies is 60 milligrams of CBD. It is a vegan product, non-GMO, very, very yummy. Only eat one at a time though. And then our power gummies are 25 milligrams of CBD. They are also uh, vegan. Our gummies are infused, they're not coated, and that's why they're so potent because the CBD is infused within the gummy and just not on the outside. So here are some recommended dosing before you see Dr. Daniel, before you see your dentist. Many of us, and it shows in studies, have anxiety. Many of us have that phobia, right, of going to yes. the dentist. So using a gummy at night is really important so that you can sleep, so you can rest, right? I also recommend an hour before you go in that chair to use either the 500 milligram Hempranium, 12 drops, or the Hemp MD eight drops, or the Pure Nano 20 drops an hour before arriving at the dentist. I did a lot of studies, and Dr. Daniel and I found that a recommended dose an hour before is about 20 milligrams of CBD. Mm -hmm. So you can get that either in your tincture, or you can get it either in a gummy, but recommend the gummy at night and the tincture to be done an hour before. And this same dose can be used post-procedure. So it alleviates what? A lot of those non anti-inflammatory drugs like Motrin, like Aleve, that over time can cause chronic renal failure. It alleviates the Tylenol, which can cause over time liver failure. 
it alleviates Xanax. A lot of those anxiety relieving medications that have side effects where CBD not only can address those anxiety issues, but also the issues of pain reduction. Topical products can be used again as well. Simply apply a small part and massage it on the outside of the mouth. Please do not eat the topical. Please don't put it in your mouth. The topical is not meant to be ingested internally. And then our fast acting products, our CBD pre-roll and our vape cartridges. These are great because what you can do is you can take one to three pulls on that vape cartridge before they tell you Dr. Daniel is going to walk into the room. This is great because these cartridges act within one to five minutes. So you want to have that cartridge as well on board before you have that procedure or that exam done. Um, one to three pulls on your CBD joint before le leaving home or in the car. Dr. Daniel doesn't like people like smoking in her office and I'm sure your, your dentist doesn't either. So if you love our pre-rolls, you can do that before you leave home or do it while you're in the car parking and then go on. And then you can repeat using these products you know, after your dental procedure, many times your mouth is sore, you can't really open, you know, so drop some tincture in or use the topicals. Five essential oils that help with dental care. Peppermint, spearmint, clove, tea tree, and cinnamon. So we're going to talk about some um, essential oils and how we can use essential oils for dental care. Now, tea tree is known to be an anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, antiseptic, and fungicide. So with tea tree, you can use it as a natural remedy for bad breath because it contains ingredients to diminish plaque. So what you can do, you can do one drop of tea tree oil in a cup of warm water, and you can swish it around your mouth for 30 seconds. You can use it just like a mouthwash instead of all of those toxic chemicals in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Just know you should not swallow, swish it around for 30 seconds. You can also take two to three tops, drops of tea tree and put it on the gums in the surrounding area of infection twice a day until the pain subsides. So tea tree can be used as a maintenance of, for reduction of bad breath and making sure that the oral hygiene is at its optimum. Or you can use tea tree for those times where you're having a uh, toothache. Peppermint, we know peppermint. Peppermint's in most toothpaste, right? That's why that toothpaste yeah. takes like it does. Many, many companies use peppermint for that reason. Peppermint is an antiseptic, so it can help fight bad breath off germs. It can use, be used to soothe toothaches and reduce pain in the mouth. It's really effective against anaerobic bacteria. That's the bacteria that thrives in low oxygen levels, which is spaces between your teeth and below the gum line. So that causes cavities and a lot of problems. So you can use our Wakana peppermint, add a drop to your toothbrush every single day and brush your teeth. Or you can combine two teaspoons of peppermint with one cup of water and swish it around in your mouth and use it as a mouthwash. So essential oils can be used along with CBD to assist better oral hygiene and oral health in a natural, holistic, organic way. How about an emergency? Dr. Daniel is out of town with her family. We can't find Dr. Daniel, right? You've got this horrible toothache. What you can do is that you can make your own little solution um, by putting five mLs of MCT oil, adding one mL, which is one mL is one full dropper, that full dropper that's in your bottle, with three drops of tea tree or peppermint, 
mix all of those together, shake it up in a little container, and you can use a dropper to apply it directly on the area that's causing discomfort. Or you can take a cotton ball and use that solution and put it on the area of discomfort. Okay, so you can either use that by diluting or you can take your hemp MD or your Hempranium 500 milligrams, your water solid, your pure nano, and just directly drop it on the tooth. And then please, the next day, make your appointment with Dr. Daniel or your dentist. But these are some ways that you can use our products, our CBD products, our essential oil products to address the area of our mouth. So again, thank you. We're going to take some questions. This is Dr. Daniel's information. That's her Instagram and that's her email address. Um, and then this is my information. You ever have questions, you can locate me at RitaMD at Wakana.com. So thank you so much. We're going to take some questions. Um, I do want to let you know that our medical advisory board our Wakana Medical Advisory Board is all here. If everybody can take their video off and, and, and just wave at everyone, just to let everyone know that we are committed here at Wakana to do the research, to get the information so that we can really utilize all of our products so we can address our health and wellness in a holistic, organic way. So if there's any questions, you can put them in the chat. If there's any comments that the uh, panel would like to make, um, please do. But Dr. Daniel, you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. This, um, this topic was long overdue. So I appreciate you putting this together because this um, CBD and its implications are just amazing. And you talked about some really important uses. Um, I, I just wanted to... Um, touch a little bit on the anxiety portion. For patients that do have that dental anxiety, we offer the nitrous oxide gas, which allows you to relax in the office without being completely sedated or put to sleep. But um, there are some people that just want a more natural uh, alternative to that. And it doesn't do anything about that anxiety you have at home the night before not being able to sleep. And so when you talked about taking the gummies at night before you go to bed, that's exactly what you want to do. Um, that's going to give you a good night's sleep because it helps with sleep. And then in the morning, um, using some of the, the vape cartridge, if you can, or the pre-roll, um, right, or even the tincture under the tongue right before you come in will relax you and you'll be amazed to see that you, you won't need the gas, you won't need any of those um, sedatives and you can just be naturally relaxed during the procedure. And so that's, a, that's one that I'm really trying to offer my patients. And I've got great results. When I mention that to them, they're like, oh, wow, really? They <laughs> want to know more because everyone's anxious about going to the dentist. Except Thank maybe you. a dentist. <laughs> you guys are? That's pretty. That's, that's great. I, I usually just fall asleep, prop my mouth open, do what you will. <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. Uh, the question is, should the dentist be aware if patient use CBD before the procedure? Well, because CBD is natural and is not going to have a lot of adverse side effects with what we normally use in the dental setting, um, it's nice to always know if you've taken anything before procedure. We want to know those things, but you don't have to worry about um, adverse side effects uh, with taking it. And so that's why it's a great uh, alternative, a natural alternative. Um, so you want to let your dentist know, um, but you can um, be at ease and just uh, give you some assurance that it, usually your dentist will not... Um, tell you not to use it because it's going to interfere with whatever they're doing. Very good. Any other questions? I don't see any. Just people 
in the chat saying, excellent, excellent, excellent. And thank you, Dr. Daniel. Yeah, That's so, all okay. I'm saying. Let's see. Where is your office? Well, my office is called the Dentist of Eagle Mountain, and we're located in North Fort Worth. Um, um, I've been open three years. I practiced in Fort Worth for about seven years before I finally was able to open my own practice. And so um, doing things like this is the reason why I wanted to open my own practice so that I could offer holistic um, alternatives to my patients and talk about things like CBD that I may not have been able to share if I was at someone's, someone else's office. So I'm proud to have my own office, North Fort Worth, Dentist of Eagle Mountain. And uh, if you're in Chicago, let me know when you're in town. I, I see people from out of town. We just spend a little bit longer and just get everything done in a day. We are uh, known for our same day dentistry. Love it. Can you repeat your email address again? Sure. It is smile and the number four dr. Daniel. And that's at gmail.com. Um, I always have to reiterate that there's no S at the end of Daniel because everyone you just I'm automatically when you see Daniel, you think it's Daniel. So I tell people if you can't reach me, you might have put an S on the end of that. Thank you. Uh, another question is, I have a prosthesis and I have to take an antibiotic. Is it necessary with the CBD? Um, well, when you say prosthesis, I'm assuming you're talking about an artificial joint, like um, a knee or hip replacement, because that is usually the only um, thing that we recommend our patients take antibiotics um, before their appointment. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the ADA and the Heart Association has changed those rules. And so you no longer need to pre-medicate before you come to the dentist if you've had an artificial joint or hip replacement. Um, some patients you know, just feel more comfortable taking it. And if they, if that's what they want to do, I, I don't have a problem with it. But CBD, because of its uh, anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties, of course, it can be nothing but an adjunct to making sure that those joints don't get infected when you see the dentist. That's very rare, but there's nothing wrong with, you know, just a little extra precaution in taking the CBD um, if your doctor wants you to pre-medicate, though, because of um, high risk or you've had problems with the joint in the past, you definitely want to still do that. The CBD is not going to replace what your doctor has already recommended that you take. Wonderful. Is that your classmate, Dr. Hera? Yes, Dr. Herrera. Hello. Herrera. She said, that is correct, Dr. Daniel. No need <laughs> to pre-medicate anymore. Yes. Um, the prosthesis is a shoulder replacement. Yes, so that's a rotator cuff, a, a movable joint. Um, in the past, there was concern that those movable joints, because the gums are such a direct link to our bloodstream in the past, if you were having any type of dental procedure, there was a scare or a fear that bacteria would enter the bloodstream through your gums and collect around those artificial joints that you have. And so there was a widespread antibiotic um, recommendation. In the past, we found that that's not necessarily needed unless you're at high risk. Wonderful. That's the question, Dr. Rita, Dr. Daniel. Yeah. Um, so I have hardware in my neck and I, the, the dentists always tell me, you don't, you know, it's your option if you want to do a course of antibiotics before you come and get heavy work done. I've always felt more comfortable doing that because I fear, obviously, getting an infection in the hardware in the neck because that's not a that's not an easy surgery to have. Mm -hmm. um, but I will say this also after the presentation, I've been on CBD for almost November would be a year. <laughs> and usually my dentist finds something with my gums. I've had the deep scalings in previous years. This was the first year. Yes. 
that oh, she wow. did not have to wow. put that needle and inject me and go digging deep. And I'm like, it's, it, you know, I have anxiety. I have white coat anxiety only with the dentist. I'm a nurse. I can deal with blood, IVs, yep. shots, enemas, surgeries, <laughs> but I cannot sit in a dentist chair without Thank medication. You. Thank you for sharing that testimony. That's exactly what we were talking about. Just um, reducing the inflammation in the gums, the bacterial count in the mouth naturally so that when you come in for that visit, we are able to give a good report and not um, talking about what you need to do more, need to brush more, need to floss more. Uh, because sometimes people are doing all that they can and they're doing all those things, but they just can't seem to get that inflammation down. And so CBD can help with that. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. That's great. I'm hoping I didn't miss any questions here. Um, lots of people are excited to get our products. They're uh, saying they can't wait to get some tea tree as well. Did I? Did we answer this question? Could an implant in your gums be considered a prosthesis? No, we no, the implant in the gums is not considered a prosthesis, but I, I can totally see um, why someone would think that. That's a question that we have on our um, health history. And a lot of people click yes, and then they'll tell me which tooth numbers they have their implants on. But you don't have to worry about the dental implants. We're usually talking about those implanted um, movable joints, like a knee, a hip, and a rotator cuff. Perfect. Thank you so much. Any other questions? This was been, this is fantastic. Absolutely. I don't have to do this again. Fantastic. Absolutely. Let's see. Nothing's in the question box. Um, if you are, if you're a guest on the line, we do want you make sure you get all your other questions answered and your products ordered because these products are amazing. And we know now that our oral health is connected to our entire body, our systemic health, and we want to stay healthy. So have a great night. Thank you, my Wakana Medical Advisory Board. You guys are always amazing, always showing up and supporting each one of us. And Dr. Daniel, we can't thank you enough for oh, all this amazing information. And we look forward to more conversations like this. Likewise. Thank you for having me, Dr. Rita. You're welcome. Have a good night, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow.